Hello and welcome to Flip It Through the Internet's number one Mad Magazine news review and interview channel. And welcome to the latest edition of First Appearances. Now, you might be familiar with the First Appearance series. In the past, I focused on artists or writers and their very first appearance at mag magazine all the way up to their final appearance. Well, not every single one up to their final appearance, but maybe just a few examples of their work. And as it changed over the years, this time I'm doing something a little different. Now I've talked about Flip the Bird um, a number of times on live streams. Mostly I brought it up as, you know, just kind of curious about when Flip the Bird came about, when his name came about. Um, and in the chat, there was always uh, an idea floating around uh, where people were suggesting, hey, it's a uh, there was a contest at some point in the 60s, in the 70s. I don't know. And finally, somebody did the work, the hard work, the hard digging, the journalistic endeavor of finding out when Flip the Bird was named and also when he first appeared. That person was not me. Before I go any further, though, please make sure that you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit like on this video. Leave a comment down below. Um, that's the best way to support this channel. If you want to support it another way, Patreon.com slash flipping through. These people support me right now, right as we speak. Tom Richmond, David Strickler, Megan McInerney, Shane Buckley, Bobby Weigel, Cam Hayden, Ed Meisinger, Rob Wilson, Rod Mead Sperry, Andrew Goldfarb, Casey Ori, and Kyle Bridget. Thank you guys so much for your support. I hope I can keep on earning it. So, where to begin? Well, first, big shout out to um, Shane Buckley, the, the Patreon. Uh, patron, what do they call them? Patreon patron, uh, for sending me an email. He sent me an email a while ago, and he did, did a ton of research, pouring over issues and issues of MAD. It must have been a lot of work, because he told me that he began searching sometime in the 1960s, and he found his answer surprisingly late, uh, the answer to the question of when was Flip the Bird named? How was Flip the Bird named? Before we get into that, let's look at his very first appearance. Now, the, we have resources as mad um, as mad fans. We have resources like madcoversite.com. So I went on madcoversite.com and I searched. And I found reference to Flip the Bird, but I didn't find anything about when he first appeared. So I, I reached out to the man himself, Doug Guilford, and I said, Mr. Guilford, help me out, man. And so he had he did a little digging, and what he came up with is this. Mad Magazine number 102, released April 1966. Our price, 30 cents, which is indeed cheap, right? We all agree on that. And let's, let's dig in a little bit. Now, as we open up, this issue right on the inside front cover we have him ladies and gentlemen we got him so this is an um an ad for dave berg looks at people first it was mads dave berg looks at the usa now we're hawking the second berg brained berg brained creation okay yes in a further effort to feather his nest Matt's Dave Berg has cast an eagle eye at all the queer ducks around him and come up with another cuckoo collection of Berg's eye view. Uh, just, so just for a lark, buzzard down to your bookstore and take a gander at it. You'll have no regrets. <laughs> That's, that does, doesn't really work as a pun. Uh, until you take a swift look at the price. Then you'll turn and cry foul when you realize how we're robbing all you gullible people blind. But that's a minor detail. You'll end up raving over this turkey. Now, isn't this pitch more than you can swallow? So, <laughs> I don't know. Some editor just went ape on this and filled it with bird puns. There's no birds, though. It just says looks at people. That's it. And then here, on this, on the, the 
page that you're supposed to cut out. We have, I don't know, like a kiwi. And then we have these. The first appearance of this bird. Or is it? Ah, shoot. <laughs> or is it? That's right. It's Mad Hunters. It's time for Mad Hunters. Now, uh, Dave, Doug Guilford. I almost said Dave Berg. Doug Guilford gave me this answer, and I trust Doug Guilford. But before Doug Guilford did, I came up with this, um, this idea, and so I'm doing it anyway. If you can find a earlier appearance, earlier than Mad Magazine number 102, if you can find an earlier appearance of Flip the bird. You will be the recipient. Uh, the winner of the inaugural Mad Hunters. And you will be a recipient of this sticker pack with the beautiful stickers. Potter's EB, Potter's EB, System Weights and Measures. Max Corners here. And, of course, the channel logo. How could you not want to do that? Um, so, if you find it, first comment that actually finds a uh, an appearance of Flip the Bird that predates mad 102 you will win a sticker pack anyway that was mad hunters thank you so much so as we move on we found that first appearance first appearance just for just for the contest you know anyway uh, we found that we found the very first appearance but when was it that he was given the moniker of flip the bird the next thing that we are looking up, and this is where this is where it must have taken Shane a mighty long time to find this. Issue 331. 331 for October, November 94. Our price $1.95, which is indeed cheap. Um <laughs> this came out in 1994. This is um like 30 years, nearly 30 years after Flip the Birds first appearance. And if you go to the letters and tomatoes department, you'll find something interesting. A little section called insignificant data. Now, insignificant data is kind of interesting. There's something interesting about this that I, I feel like commenting on. Uh, Mad Chat continues on Wednesday, October 12th from 3 to 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Call 212-752-6872 and speak live with Mad Associate Editor and Writer Joe Riola. What? <laughs> you could just call in. Talk to him. Hey, hey, Joe. How's it going? Big fan. Your magazine sucks. All right. See you later. Click. What a fun thing. I wonder how many people called into that. I did call this number it's disconnected it's no longer in service anyway here we go um updates we're busy interpreting the reams of data that have arrived since we asked our reader what's the first thing you read in mad and to suggest names and to suggest names for that weird bird you see in our pages we'll print some of the results in our next issue if you haven't sent in a, sent in a response this is your last chance also if you're still waiting for your mad souvenir because you filled out a survey card in issue 326, it's coming. Turns out you were the last person on the list again. Okay, so there we have it. We have the contest. Now, did it, was it, was there a bigger announcement? I don't know. That seems, that seems like um, not the appropriate amount of fanfare for naming this bird which look at this bird is right there on that um in the pin collection right um obviously the mad zeppelin that's arthur the arthur's name is on him already so we get to name this creature and it's it's, it's an insignificant data point uh so that is mad magazine number 331 well Let's look. Let's look at the next issue. Wait, that's not the next issue. Here we go. The very next issue, Mad 332. There were some, some people who were quick 
with the pen because they got um, responses right away. So this is the first appearance of, whoop, this is the first appearance of the name Flip the Bird. Oh, golly. Likewise, we'd asked readers to suggest names for that strange bird that's always... I gotta start that over again. Likewise, we asked readers to suggest names for that strange bird that always pops up in our pages. So far, our three favorites, and the people who suggested them are Kafka, Ryan Nave, Houston, Texas, Spazzy, Christopher Hart, Memphis, Tennessee, Flip, The Bird, Krista Martin, Westerly, Rhode Island, Krista Martin. Do you want to vote for one of the above choices or suggest a name of your own? Hey, we're not stopping you. Well, let's see what happened. The very next issue, no, a few issues later, Mad Number 335, released May 1995. Cover price $1.95, which is indeed cheap. Well, the bird is named in in mad 332 we gave our readers one last chance to suggest an oh wait i guess that wasn't the contest announcement boy i did a bad job anyway oh well uh <laughs> what did you expect uh to suggest a name for that strange bird that always pops up on our pages here are some of our recent favorites and then the winner busby by John, uh, Durfel, Durfla, spell it backwards, Alfred, get it? Weird Bird Yankovic, that was never going to win, sorry, Mike Basil, Cornelius, Purdue, Purdue, I could see that, Melvin, but Melvin's already a character, that was a bad idea, Rachel, uh, Stupid Pet, <laughs> Cat Food, mm, too cute, uh, Egbert, Scrimshaw, I like Scrimshaw, Lil Ed, Pencil Neck, Geek. And the winner, overwhelming support, a mandate, if you will, went to a name we printed in 332. Westerly, Rhode Island resident, Krista Martin's suggestion, Flip the Bird. Was there really ever any doubt? To show your appreciation, whenever you see Krista, Flip the Bird. So there you have it. The first appearance of Flip the Bird, followed by the first appearance of Flip the Bird in Mad Magazine, starting all the way back. Oh, wait. Oh, I'll zoom out. Look at Starting all the way back in Mad Magazine number 102 and making its way across the decades to 1995. 29 years later, if I'm doing my math correctly, if I'm not, please leave a comment below. 29 years later, Flip the Bird finally gets his due and gets his name. Hey, guys, please make sure to hit like, hit subscribe, leave a comment down below. Remember, Mad Hunters, those bounty hunters, if you can find an earlier appearance of Flip the Bird, you get a sticker pack. That's pretty good. And hey, if I, if I make 1,000 subscribers, I'm going to get Flip the Bird tattooed right here on my middle finger. All right? So with that, thank you guys so much for watching. Toodaloo.